Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon for further notifications and like, share and subscribe to the channel. Tony L. Kikui Ferguson, the once revered and most feared fighter in the lightweight division, is fighting for his legacy at EFC 296. At one point of time, he was the boogeyman of the division. His opponents were left bloody and broken after the fight. He was on a 12 fight win streak and even became the interim lightweight champion. His fight with Khabib never materialized and even after such a legendary reign, he didn't get to fight for the title. It's one of MMA's tragedies that one of its greatest combatants didn't get the chance to fight for that elusive prize which is the goal of every prize fighter. Tony Ferguson is the most unfortunate fighter in the UFC and despite being a company man, somehow the big fights always eluded him. Tony, despite his accolades, could not get to fight Khabib, Connor or Dustin Poirier and instead, during Covid, in an empty arena, he was in a way forced to fight Justin Gaethje and defend his interim title. Tony had also made a wait for a cancelled fight a few weeks back, which didn't help. So, it was a string of bad luck for Tony Ferguson. That fight with Gaethje did nothing for him. He could have easily waited for a title shot. But somehow the situation compelled him to fight. The fight with Gechi was short notice fight and it was the most brutal and violent fight in the UFC. That fight did more damage to Tony than all of his other fights combined. He was never the same fighter after that. The punishment that he absorbed during the course of 25 minutes left people speechless. The warrior in Tony Ferguson kept on going and Justin Gaethje kept on pummeling him. In an empty arena, the thud of the strikes sent shockwaves to the viewers that watched. Lesser mortals would have perished after that fight. Tony's great rival Khabib predicted that he would never be the same after that fight. A sentiment that was echoed by many in the fighting community. That started the decline of Tony Ferguson. And the company did him no favor by matching him up against potential killers. There wasn't an easy fight for Tony like Conor McGregor. Tony wasn't given a washed up Donald Cowboy Cerrone. But his next fight was against a prime Charles Oliveira, who was also on a huge win streak. From the violence of Gaethje to the jiu-jitsu of Oliveira. Once again, it was the heart and resilience of Tony that didn't allow him to tap against Charles. After that, he fought Benil Darius, who was also on a six-fight win streak and was avoided by one and all. If Charles almost snapped Tony's arm, Benil almost snapped his ankle. Again, it was the heart of Tony that prevented him from tapping, but he lost all three rounds. All of a sudden, in three fights, Tony hadn't won a round. The damage was accumulating, and he took a year off before he faced Michael Chandler in UFC 274. He won the first round against Chandler, but as fate would have it, he suffered a brutal kick to the face and was knocked out cold for the first time in his career. Most of the UFC fans started to feel sorry for him and were even concerned about his well-being. But still, he marched on and fought Nate Diaz, Bobby Green, and got finished in both those fights. Fighters were cashing in off him and Tony Ferguson couldn't catch a break. 
after winning 12 straight bouts he had lost 6 on the stretch and the road isn't getting any easier for him in a cutthroat company like the ufc he is continually being thrown to the wolves his next fight is against newcomer Paddy Pimlet. Tony is almost 40 and he is fighting someone who is far younger than him. The, the speed, youth, confidence are all on Paddy's side. Tony Ferguson this late in his career is almost grasping at straws to stay afloat. One more loss would mean the end of the road for El Kikwi. Can Tony Ferguson do something miraculous and pull off a much elusive victory? Tony hasn't won a fight since 2019. That would be almost close to four years. And father time eventually catches up with everyone. So is 296 the last UFC event for Tony Ferguson? Let me know in the comment section what you feel and if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.